Hey everyone, I was very excited. I'm very, very excited to be here in, in this slightly ambitious choice of venue. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, it's it's all very, very prestigious. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very excited because my comedy dream is actually to get three stars from Chortle. <laughs> Ideally, all in the same review. <laughs> um, my name's Andy. Uh, I'm really into astronomy. Woo! Uh, that's the one that's not bullshit. Um, just in case there's any confusion there. Uh, I, uh, I'm a PhD student doing astronomy, so last year I had to move back in with my parents. I, you know, I can't complain, it was just a bit awkward because like, I was living with them from March through to December, uh, but I think we ran out of things to talk about in the car <laughs> on the way back home from uni in 2018. <laughs> so, not ideal. And there were some moments of, of tension, like, um, guys, don't you just hate it when you go to the toilet and your aim is just like a little bit off? and you shit on the floor. <laughs> so, th there were some arguments. Uh, got, got, got through it though, like, we all found new hobbies, new passions, um, and for me that was Gmail. Um, I, I love Gmail, I love, I, love, I love the feature where you can uh, write an email and schedule it to send later. Um, and I use this as like, a really effective alarm clock, right? Because I'm not a morning person, I didn't even mourn Prince Philip. Um, but I, 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 str I struggle to wake up, right? So what I do, if I need to be up at seven, then I'll have my usual alarm for 7 a.m. But then the previous evening, I will also draft an embarrassing email to my boss and schedule it to send at 7.01. <laughs> it's like, take it from me. Like, nothing, nothing gets me going in the morning. Quite like knowing that my boss, in 60 seconds time, is getting sent a picture of me at the beach in 2009, licking an ice cream with the caption, thinking of you. <laughs> you know, I, I, I jolt awake, I'm on, I'm on my phone like, discard draft, discard draft, what the fuck was I thinking? And, and, and I get rid of it, there's a moment of calm, I could go back to bed, uh, and then I remember that in five hours time, it's the deadline for my end of term report, and I provisionally uploaded a PDF that just says, we'll eat ass for a 2-1. <laughs> that, 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 that's what I need, that's how I get things done, you know. Because research is hard, right? Like, I, I resent the fact that all the low-hanging fruit has already been taken, right? Like, back in the 1600s, the 1700s, you could get really well-known just from pointing out, like, really obvious shit. Like, like the philosopher David Hume, he's well-known largely because of his is-ought fallacy, right? He said that just because something is true doesn't mean it ought to be true. <laughs> just, it's fucking obvious, isn't it? Like, uh, like, I, I knew that. I didn't, I didn't need David Hume to, to point that out to me. And it, he, like, he's well known now. He, he's, he's, he's famous, he's got all the acclaim, and, and I'm struggling, like, making graphs and shit. And you, the, okay, all I'm trying to say is that David Hume is famous, but he ought not to be. <laughs> yeah, so it, it can be hard though, science, like communicating as well, like, um, like Facebook. I'm not a fan of them right now because they've been deleting vaccine misinformation, which I think is the wrong approach actually. They've got it all wrong. If you want to fight vaccine misinformation, what you should do is deliberately inject a small, non-lethal amount of vaccine misinformation <laughs> into everyone's news feeds <laughs> and just allow your users to build up their own immunity over time. Yeah. Um, I love Gmail, though. Uh, uh, so, some people say that Google Docs is like Google's magnum opus, but I, not, not for me, because I... I just, you know what it is, I just hate that horrid moment when you're in a Google Doc at the same time as someone else and your cursors touch. Gmail, Gmail's the one for me. I just wish I had a better address, right? Because my dream address is andy.bucks at gmail.com. You might have had the same problem as me. I couldn't believe how many variations I had to try to get one that wasn't taken. Like, real andymbucks123 at gmail.com, taken. Uh, the right honourable Viscount Andreas McBuckanopolis III at gmail.com, that, that's taken. Uh, Andy at yahoo.co.uk, that's free. <laughs> but, 
I don't want that one. I want andy.bucks at gmail.com. And I hate whoever it was that took that off me. Right? I, I, I want them to suffer. So what, what I do, you know when you get on a, a train and you sign into the Wi-Fi and they ask you for your email address? I mean, you could just write anything. They, they, they don't check, right? So I always just put andy.bucks at gmail.com. So whichever motherfucker it was that took that address gets shat on with the full force of the Thameslink marketing department. <laughs> you know, I, they've always got like a load of tick boxes at the bottom. I just scroll through, like ticking them all. Like, do you, do you want to hear about our special offers? Oh, yes, please. How kind of you. Do, do, you want, do you want us to pass your details on to selected third parties? Sure, by all means, spread the word. Defile my inbox. You know? do, do, you want, do you want to be entered into our prize draw? No, I couldn't possibly tempt them. You've, you've already been so generous. You know? I, I, I hate whoever it was that took that address. Right? I mean, to be fair, in the end, it turned out it was me, and I just forgot the password. But, but, like, the point still stands in many ways. Um, I, um, I, lo I love Gmail, though. I, 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 and I, I love sports, too, which I know might be a bit more of a surprise. I don't think I look that sporty. Like, I think I would describe my physique as salvageable. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I love, I like a couple of the other acts, I'm really into football. I love how passionately people get behind their own team, even though it's based on nothing. I, it's really beautiful. And, uh, but it doesn't just happen with sports. This is what I've realised. Like, I was watching a video of a shrew fighting a scorpion to the death. <laughs> and I was sitting there getting really into it, like... Mammals! 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 Fuck off, arachnids! Fuck off, arachnids! You don't even give birth to live young egg wankers! Oh, I'd rather be a reptile than an arachnid! Oh, I'd rather be a reptile than an arachnid! Oh, I'd rather be a snake! Or a fucking terrapin! I'd rather be a raptor. I'd rather be a raptor. I'd rather be a raptor than an arachnid. Hey, 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 hey. Anyway, got kicked out of the library. <laughs> and it's my time to leave you as well. Uh, so thanks for listening, and sorry if any of that came across as arachnophobic. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>